right. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I am powerless over drugs, alcohol, and codependency. My name is Arlene, and today I choose recovery. I love when you say that to me. I also love when Anthony calls me Pastor Arlene. You know, Anthony's my kid, so I'm going to make him do that all the time. Like, you know, when he comes over for dinner, just Pastor Arlene, please. That's great. Anyway, you know, I keep coming back because I'm here because I'm not all there. I want to welcome anyone who may be here uh, for the first time. We're so glad that you're here this evening. We really are. Tonight is the 22nd year kickoff of recovery here on Friday nights. 22 years. Go cool. Giving God and ourselves a hand for all these years of CR here. It's crazy. You know, being in recovery is a great way to kick off uh, a new year. New year, new journey, new decisions. So if you're new, welcome you are in the right place. And if you look around the room, you can see that we have all made it another year together. We have survived 2021. It wasn't easy, but we did it. I mean, whether we dragged ourselves in the room tonight or walked through with our heads held high, what matters is that we are here today and recovery is possible. Another year of possible recovery because here we are. So the five essentials uh, that Anthony just talked about earlier when he talked about what is choose recovery um, are how we recover. That, that, the five essentials that you all shouted out uh, were Jesus, sponsor, 12 steps, meetings, and service. That's how the recovery sausage gets made around here, okay? But you see what it all starts with, right? Jesus, trust him. Because without God, just, this thing just doesn't, doesn't work. Ah, but with God... See, all things are possible. Without God, nothing. With God, recovery is possible. And that's really what I came to tell you about tonight. I think this is going to be the best year ever in recovery for all of us. And here's why. It's because nothing is impossible with God. Amen. God is our first essential, Jesus. And the sky is the limit on impossible things becoming possible with Jesus. This coming year, this is our theme. Anthony told you about it. We'll be remembering this all year so we can trust in Jesus better. better. Nothing is impossible with God. In fact, let's say it together. Nothing is impossible with God. You know, we say around here that we're all here because we're not all there, right? <laughs> we, we have said that. So welcome, uh, everybody, to the Not All There Club, okay? Because <laughs> we're here. I just want to add that it's so much better, at least for me, and hopefully for you too, and I think for all of us, uh, being in here where we're part of something that helps us get well rather than being out there uh, struggling in our addictions or our afflictions or our compulsive behaviors all by ourselves. And to make it even better, we're all here so that we can share the hope and the answers that we find with others who are still sick and suffering uh, with the same thing that we used to be sick and suffering from. This is good stuff. Amen. You know, last year our theme uh, for 2021 uh, 20, was living out love, reminding us that, that what we've experienced in the past and, and the hope that we have for the future, all of that together, we can share with others so that they can get well. That's an essential. In fact, it's service. Service is one of the essentials. What do we say about service? Do it. Do it. So even if we're not all there, here we are. And that's what matters. Can I get an amen on that? Thank you. So anyway, I had someone say one time, a grumpy person, that it sounded like we were just insulting ourselves for us to say we're not all there. But, but well, it's not really an insult. If you think about it, it's, what, it what it's doing is it's just, just reminding ourselves that every last one of us, no matter how much recovery we have under our belt, no matter how long we've been coming around here, we always have a lot of growing left to do. Always. It makes sense because another important essential um, that, that, uh, of our five is the 12 steps. And step one of the, our 12 steps is all about admitting that we don't have it all together when we say we're powerless over what brought us here and our lives have become unmanageable. You know, even Bible characters that we consider to be the greats of the Bible, um, like the Apostle Paul, who was incredibly changed by Jesus, admits that 
He doesn't have it all together because he declares this out loud in 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. And he says, but he, this is Paul speaking, but he, he means God, said to me, Paul, this is God speaking, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. Now back to Paul. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That's why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. That's why I love saying, for Christ's sake, because it is for Christ's sake. You know, we here at Choose Recovery know that we are powerless over our addictions, afflictions, and compulsive behaviors. And that's why we admit around here that we're all here because we're not all there. So while we may be powerless and are powerless, there is one who has all power, and that's God. And when we're weak, that's when he is strong. So it's best to admit it, just admit it, and have God's strength rather than trying to struggle along on our own will. At least that's what I've discovered. Seriously, I mean, say it with me again. It's on the screen, okay? Go. Nothing is impossible with God. In fact, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, nothing is impossible with God. And that's the truth. Nothing is impossible with God. And speaking of neighbors, I might as well speak of neighbors. I kind of like this new room set up because it helps when we look around the room and see people sitting near to us to remind us that we are not alone in this recovery journey. In fact, our see our leadership team worked really, really hard into improving trying to improve our recovery experience on Friday night to help us connect better. So can we give them a hand, our leadership team, for trying to think outside the box? Because there's just something about the intimacy of gathering together like this that makes our recovery thrive because this is not an I program. This is a we program. And that's another of our essentials, by the way, meetings. Meetings, attend them. Gathering gives us strength together. Matter of fact, you and I just sitting in these seats tonight is living proof. I think that nothing is impossible with God. I mean, I don't know all of your stories, but I know some of them. (laughs) And I know mine. I know enough to prove that nothing is impossible with God, just that we're here. I am totally thrilled that this is going to be our theme for the entire year to remind us that Jesus is the one that we have to trust. Jesus is the God of the impossible. He can do all things that we can't. So let's make this be the year that we turn to him completely in our recovery. We even have, you know, like Anthony mentioned it, the new t-shirts to proclaim it. I love it. I love this shirt. I, this is definitely my favorite CR sh- shirt. We've had three, three versions of it. This is, this is great. So when you leave, make sure to go out to the literature table and get your free shirt. First one's free, right? So get yours tonight. And on the back is a Bible verse that's right out of the mouth of Jesus. I love it. Matthew 19, 25, and 26. And here it is. In fact, read it with me. It's on the screen. Go. The disciples were astounded. Then who in the world can be saved, they asked. Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it's impossible. But with God, everything is possible. That's Matthew 19, 25, and 26. That's out of the mouth of Jesus. Without God, we wouldn't be here. We couldn't save ourselves. I mean, many of us tried. I know I did thousands of different ways to get out of our troubles, and it didn't work. We who have been saved from a helpless, hopeless state of mind and body know firsthand the feeling of being in a place where we believe there was just no getting out of the situation we were in, whatever it was. But God... But God, God makes the impossible possible. Because of the love that Jesus showers us with and the power he gives us to recover, we can declare, like his disciples did centuries ago, and we read it in the Bible, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 12, we can declare we're pressed on every side by troubles, but not crushed and broken. We are perplexed because we don't know why things happen as they do, but we don't give up and quit. We're hunted down, but God never abandons us. We get knocked down, but we get up again and keep going. These bodies of ours are constantly facing death, just as Jesus did, so it's clear to all that it's only the living Christ within who keeps us safe. And that's, that, that needs an amen, I think. Amen. I want to 
in case you're unconvinced that nothing is impossible with God. Here's more proof, I think, that God does impossible things. Um, if you have survived, think about it, in your own life, if you have survived circumstance, overcome and even thrived in circumstances that you thought there was no way out of in the past, impossible situations, raise your hand. I want everybody to look around. I want everybody to look around. Jesus saves us from our hopelessness when we turn to him. We are proof. Nothing is impossible with God. But here's the deal. Sometimes when we're right in the middle of it, like let's say we're new tonight, we're like, yeah, right. <laughs> Sometimes when we're right in the middle of it, we need one another to remind us that nothing is impossible with God. We need guides to help us see this truth. You know, if that's you tonight, if you're going through uh, something and you don't see a way out, if you try and fail and try and fail to get this recovery thing uh, again and again, if contentment seems impossible for whatever reason in your life, I invite you to hang in. Hang in, because that's where guides and each other can help one another. Hang in, keep coming back. Find the people, find your friends, find your sponsors. I want to encourage everyone to have recovery friends and a sponsor to be honest with. Jesus gives us this to help the impossible things work out. That's how Jesus does. And it's another of the five essentials, by the way, also. Sponsor, get one. <laughs> You know, this coming year at Choose Recovery, we want to focus on the miracle of Jesus giving us the ability to get up and stay clean and sober from no matter what our addiction, affliction, or compulsive behavior is through working a 12-step recovery program and the five essentials that we always talk about. We can recover. God is transforming right now, each and every one of us, day by day, one day at a time. And the longer we stay around, the more God continues to transform us. I just want to say that whatever you are facing right now, if you think it's impossible, then you don't have a big enough God. Philippians 4.13 says it, and I invite you all to declare it out loud with me tonight. Read it with me. It's on the screen. Go. I can do all things through Christ. It strengthens me. And this is a good scripture to remember when we're going through troubles, friend. I mean, I know the way I get closer to Jesus who can do for me what I cannot do for myself is through my recovery program, which is the five essentials. That's how Jesus speaks to me and strengthens me. Through these things come all the faith in Jesus I need to trust that he can do miracles. It's God's grace that brought you here, and now that you're here, God ain't finished with you yet, friend. He can overcome all things, and we can cooperate and trust in him and with him to do it through his people, his places, his processes, his purpose for me, and, of course, his mighty power. A lot of good peas there. We had C's before, right? Now we got peas. Nothing is impossible with God. And I have found that for myself today, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. So anyway, we share testimonies around here at Choose Recovery because when we hear uh, of the transformation that God has done in the lives of other people, we can get a little more hope. Those of us who have a lot of hope share uh, with those of us who have a little bit of hope, and then we take turns being on each side of that coin, right? <laughs> sometimes we have a lot, and sometimes we have a little, and we share. And this way, each of us, all of us are uplifted. For those of you who were here last week, you heard from some of our rec recovery friends, some of, some of your neighbors right here, uh, just what God has done in your lives over the past year. Well, this week, I thought that we'd not only talk about what he's done in our lives uh, in the past, but but that we would trust about what he is going to do for our future because we're declaring it tonight. We are, right? Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. So tonight I want to shift the focus, shift the focus from uh, recognizing the transformation that he's already done in our lives to trusting him with our future. Last Friday on New Year's Eve and this past Monday at CR at the Central Campus, I got out my phone. Uh-oh, where is it? It's down there. I got out my phone, and I got some on-the-fly videos of y'all and what you're all believing that God is going to do in your lives. And I caught a lot of you off guard, and some of you aren't speaking to me now. <laughs> because none of this is scripted, okay? Nobody had a script for these things. They're from the heart. But I want you to watch, because we, we, we kind of 
we kind of cobbled it together. It's just a snapshot into the faith of your faith, the faith of your neighbors and friends. And may it strengthen your belief that nothing is impossible with God. Watch this. So yes. What, what miracle do you, do you believe on that Jesus is going to do this year? Well, first of all, you're looking at a miracle. And second of all, my name is Sylvia, and I am a grateful Christian who has victory over alcohol and drugs, and I love recovery. Woo-hoo. And my miracle that I want Jesus to do this year is turn him around, my son, back to him. He's had his back turned on the Lord long enough. So I'm expecting, I'm not doing anything but expecting and believing because I'm a miracle and he's a miracle too. And we're going to believe on it because nothing is impossible impossible with with Jesus. (laughs) That's right. Amen. (laughs) Hey, (laughs) Jimmy, I'm putting you on the spot. You know, you know, the theme this year is nothing is impossible without a choose recovery, right? I've seen so many great things happening to you in the past. Is there anything that you're trusting in God for in in the future for 2022? Tell us about it. (laughs) Absolutely. I'm uh, looking forward to the new year. I know he's going to take me in a whole nother direction of my life that I can't wait to see what's going to go on. Um, I know the things that he's done in the past um, in 2021 and 2022 has started out with a real big bang this year. So I'm looking forward to what's going on this year. It's been a great start of my week. I got a lot of church on. I got my shooting recovery on. I get my men's chemical propensity class going on. So yes, um, it's amazing. I can't wait to see what happens because nothing is impossible with God. You're welcome. All right, I've got my friend Dominic right here, and I have caught him off guard too. He said, Oh no, nothing is impossible with God. So, Dom, can you introduce yourself to your area of recovery and tell tell me, I mean, how do, what do you what does your heart tell you? What does your spirit tell you that God has, even though it's beyond your wildest dreams what he has for you this coming year, but that what he can do in your life, uh, in your recovery, for people you love, whatever this coming year. Well, it's, that is a great question because it's one I've kind of been pondering is, um, yeah. you know, what can this new year bring for me? Because it's whatever it is, it's going to be very hard and difficult for to top what happened in my life last year. Wow. Okay. And, 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 you know, in the good grace of God, I can only pray that it, that this coming year is, reveals as many miracles in my life that um, I received last year. Um, I really couldn't ask for more than that. And God is just amazing. He's always working, and we never understand all of what He's all about, and we don't understand what He's going to do in our lives. But one thing is for sure, if our heart is in the right place and we, we accept Him as our Savior, He will work miracles. And that's the truth, because and, nothing is impossible. With God. With God. Amen, Amen to that. Thank you. All right, so I'm with my friend, and um, I just gave him a heads up of what I was going to ask him, and he gave me a heads up of what he was going to answer. You know, nothing is impossible with God. God can do all things. Of course, sometimes we got to cooperate a little bit as well. And so, Kip, can you introduce yourself, even though I just called you by your first name, your area of recovery, and tell me what are you believing on um, that only God can do this coming year in recovery and in your life? I am a grateful Christian in recovery from addiction to alcohol and drugs. My name is Kip. Today I can choose recovery. Hey, Kip. There was a time when I couldn't say that. I had lost the power of choice. You know, God is so amazing. Uh, What I believe God is going to do for me in this coming year, you know, I I felt this past year that I was called to full-time ministry. And so this coming year, I'm going to declare that I'm going to be added to and become a part of the staff at Grace Church. That's awesome. And that's what I'm declaring. That's me declaring. Well, we're <laughs> but I have to take action on my part uh, to help make that happen as well. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see what God's going to do with it. Because what? Nothing. Nothing is impossible with God. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna believe on that for you, Kip. Hi, my name's Cynthia, and I'm glad to be here at Grace Church. And I know that um, healing, healing through counseling is possible with um, a relative of mine, my niece. And we were fortunate that we reached out to Grace Church, and um, Pastor Foley has let me know that through the scholarship program, she's going to get six sessions with the therapist. Wow. 
and we are so blessed. So we're hoping to get um, Brittany Nelson on the phone and set up those sessions for my niece. There's much healing. She'll be 15 on this Sunday. Wow. And thank you, Grace Church. Oh, absolutely. And that's because we know that nothing is impossible, is impossible with, with God. God. <laughs> you, you go, God. Thanks, Cynthia. All right, so Gwen is like, wait a minute, I was asking her the question. And she's like, wait a minute, I don't want to answer that question on, on video. Okay, so nothing is impossible with God. Can you introduce yourself to your area of recovery and tell me what are you believing on that God is going to do in you that is impossible that only God can do? Of course, you have to cooperate a little. But go ahead, go. Who are you? My name is Gwen Martin, and I am... You're I'm in codependency. Okay, this is, this is a good. This is a good start. Hi, Gwen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can so, I do the cut? So what? Okay. Let's just but go, go ahead. What, Say the question. What are, you, what are you believing on this year that God is doing in you that only God can do? Well, this or year, forward. this year was a um, for me was forgiving and letting go, and I feel like next year is a uh, self discovery for me. I think I want to get closer to, even closer to God, even though I, Absolutely. but no, I do want to get closer to God. And I think more than anything is, this is the year for me for self-discovery. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. Love you, Gwen. Okay, here we are. And, um, <laughs> and Ashley is um, just as mad at me as everybody else was uh, when I just put her on the spot. And I know that you are believing that God can do the impossible and that nothing is impossible with God. And I know you're trusting in Him for things this year. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so this year I am in the process currently of getting a Habitat home. I am doing my, um, trying to get my mortgage application tomorrow. And I mean, that's pretty much impossible because I was homeless four years ago. And now uh, hopefully I will be a homeowner in the next year. Uh, they want to give me a property this month in North Fort Myers to start building a brand new home on. Um, and that would mean that I can get custody of my oldest two children back and I can have all my children living under the same roof again. Um, and my word that God has given me for 2022, oddly enough, is foundation. Um, and so I'm, I'm believing that this is referring to the foundation of my home and the foundation of my recovery being built stronger and that this is a year of foundation for me. That's amazing. Let's say nothing. Is nothing Im is impossible with, with God. God. All right, so everybody says, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't you know, know what to say. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible. I've seen incredible things happen in your life, Phyllis. Check this her past <laughs> Yeah, you can check her screen. No, not necessarily. Okay. You can't okay. do it. I'm just getting to put it Okay, I've cool. seen God do, like, absolutely amazing things in your life sure. this past year. Do you, see the, do you see the future? Do you see something that God, that, you're, that you are praying oh. on? Uh, be it relationships or be it something in your personal life and your spirit something that you're really praying on that you're saying yeah god i trust you to do this year for me you know what i uh i think i stopped giving up on on expectations and trying to look into the future because everything uh that god's given me this year has been better than what i was hoping for to begin with i've uh, told a lot of people last year was probably one of the probably the only year that i've actually netted positive and, and and had wonderful things happen you know and um and i mean he's god's brought back my my family and my friends he's given me a social life which is why i got into drinking and using to begin with and uh, even though your social life is just us you know <laughs> I, I know a few I know a few more people than that but uh but yes this is a big part of my social life now and I love it I love I love Jimmy I love I love you I love I love my sponsor I love everyone so uh, that's a part of this you don't want to oh no here, we go. here, here he is I love this guy I love wait, wait, this guy wait, wait, but you gotta, you gotta I, hey I, I'm his sponsor where's where's my sponsor where's my sponsor that's what I'm saying this is where it's at this is where it's at right here this is a lot of fun let's say it together let's say it Nothing, Nothing is impossible, impossible with God. Because that right there is what's up, friends. People who were once hopeless and now not only have recovery but are trusting in Jesus and his program because it's been proven that nothing is impossible with God. May you be encouraged and have that same faith tonight. So I want to ask you, what is it that you need help with right now?
Here we are in the beginning of the year. What are you facing right now that you need God's impossible provision for? Something that seems like it's impossible. You know, as we close tonight, I want to invite you to do something with me. Before tonight is over, it doesn't have to be right now, but keep it in your mind, okay? Before tonight is over, whether it's in the small group, whether it's here, wherever it is, take a piece of paper and that thing that you think is impossible, that, that certainly this can't be fixed or this can't happen for me, I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. Just write down that circumstance uh, and nobody else is going to see this but you. This isn't for anybody but you. And after you write it down, take it and tuck it away somewhere. Put, put it in your wallet or, or put it in your purse because you're going to want to revisit this paper in a year to see what God has done with it. You know, I did this once. You know, in recovery, I was already in recovery. I was new in recovery. And I moved to Florida. This was over 30 years ago. I was heartbroken. I had a failed relationship again. And I was hopeless because I had to leave friends in California again. I hated Florida because all the old people lived here. It was terrible. You couldn't drive fast. What the heck? And some good recovery people told me to do this very thing. Uh, to get a piece of paper and write down what you want, wish God to do in the future. And so I did. I did that. And, and then they said, put it on the calendar for a year from now to revisit that thing. But they also said that until that year went by, that I should relinquish my right to worry and complain about it. That I should just trust God. And I went, to, and this is the true story. Guess what? In a year, it, it came up the year in my calendar. It was my flip calendar because, you know, we didn't have, like, online stuff. In a year, it came up. I had it written on the calendar, and I felt completely different because God had given me new friends and a new relationship. And it worked because nothing is impossible with God. See, when we trust Jesus, we get freedom from worry and anxiety. God's job is to do the impossible things in our life. Amen. But we have a job too. Our job is do the possible things, which are the five essentials. Jesus, sponsor, 12 steps, meetings, and service. I want to invite the band back up. And while they're making their way back up to play last song, I want to open the altar right here. The altar is open. That thing that's on your heart, now is the opportunity to come to the altar. And if you need somebody to pray with you, just raise your hand because we need people. We need each other. And I want you to offer that thing to God and write that thing down too on a piece of paper and tuck it away like I said. Come to the altar because nothing is impossible with God. Don't hold that in yourself. This altar is open for anything, any, any experience that you want to have with Jesus tonight. So let's stand for prayer. God, I ask that you, um, that you work your way into the heart of every single person here, that new possibilities for this coming year, 2022, spring into their hearts and minds and spirits, whether they've been around for a long, long time in recovery or whether they're brand new, that new springs of refreshment come forth when they realize that nothing is impossible with you. May our breath be taken away by that. And our faith be strengthened as we go forward in our recovery program, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Altar's open.